Here at WTHS, we recognize that every student is different, so we personalize our student learning plans to fit each student individually. Before selecting classes, your counselor will ask you about your likes and dislikes, your course preferences, and your plans for after high school. You may also discuss favorite subjects, hobbies, career interests, and extracurricular activities. All of this will be taken into account when creating your personalized student learning plan to ensure that you get the most out of your time in high school, stay on track for graduation, and feel prepared for your future pathway. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Mulva Hill. Before scheduling, you should start to think about what you're interested in and talk to some people about the courses offered here at Washington Township High School. You could talk to your current teachers, you can talk to other students, maybe siblings who have had certain courses. When you meet with your counselor, you will create a personalized student learning plan. This plan will be specific to you. We will talk to you about the courses you've taken, clubs and activities that you are involved in or interested in, future goals, some test scores, and things like that. All of this will be considered when coming up with a schedule that is specific for you. So this plan is a specific plan for you. Good luck. Well, scheduling time is upon us, and I'm going to speak to you about your personalized student learning plan. Each one of you will have this document, and your counselor will use this to schedule you. Let's take a look at our personalized student learning plan. At the top, we keep record of all graduation requirements, so you can see how many courses at the end of four years are required to graduate, which is 120. Okay. Um, so each year we keep track of what level course you have, courses, and at the end of four years, as I said, it will equal to 120 or more. In addition, um, we keep track of the academic units on your personalized student learning plan for those of you who are moving right on to four-year college right out of high school. Um, and also, we will keep track of all testing requirements as far as um, ASVAB, PSAT, SAT, and so forth, okay? And be prepared because we will be asking you what your post-secondary high school plans are. Are you looking at going to a two-year college, four-year college, vocational school, military, etc. okay? Um, please note that everybody is gonna be scheduled for seven classes and a lunch. And so we want you to prepare yourself by looking at our program of studies and knowing what is offered. On the back of the sheet, um, we list every single course. So we will, again, schedule each student individually because everybody's plan is different. Um, please keep in mind that we offer honors classes, college prep, and AP. And those students who select AP classes um, receive 10 extra points as far as weighted grade point average and rank and those who take honors you will receive six extra points for the purpose of rank and weighted GPA and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Hi everybody this is Mr. Tutoriello. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, things that you need to know about creating your plan. The first thing you need to know is that in order to graduate from Washington Township High School, you do need to earn 120 credits. Now, of course, you get your credits by passing classes. Most of the classes that you're going to take are five credits each. Some are a little bit more, like the biology or the science labs are six credits. And phys ed and health, a little bit less than that. But most of your classes are going to be worth five credits. Another thing that you need to know about is testing, standardized testing. Now, some of you may have heard that there is no more PARC, uh, but that has been replaced by something called the New Jersey SLA, Student Learning Assessment. Uh, all of you will be involved in taking some portion of the New Jersey SLA. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail about that because uh, Mr. Palmer is going to be talking about a little bit more about that later on. But do know that coming up relatively soon, uh, you will be involved in the uh, testing program. Uh, the next thing that we want to talk about is the classes that you're going to be taking next year. Now, as you all know, we have a traditional eight period day. So when you choose your classes for next year, we're gonna be asking you to choose seven classes and a lunch. 
Now, some of you may have taken eight classes this year. You still will have the opportunity to do that next year if you'd like to. That's certainly up to you. You have to give up your lunch to do that. But right now, we're going to ask you to choose seven classes and a lunch. Now, one of the classes that you could choose, especially you juniors, for next year, you can choose to take the eighth period early out study hall. Be careful in doing that because you have to remember that everyone must maintain six classes for the entire school year. So let's say that as a junior, you decide to choose six classes, a lunch, and do the early out eighth period study hall. Okay, well that means that those six classes that you choose, you cannot change, you cannot drop, you must maintain those six classes all year long. So if you're going to choose study hall, make sure you choose your classes wisely. As far as making changes to your course selection, uh, it's the same as in the past. May 1st is the deadline. Uh, you have to make sure that you are very happy with your choices by May 1st. Now, between the time that you meet with your counselor and May 1st, if you want to make changes, you certainly can. But after May 1st, there will be no more changes. You can't change an elective. You can't change a level of, a, of an academic class. So by May 1st, you have to make sure that you're happy with your choices. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is attendance and discipline. Now, you should have all received a planner at the beginning of the year. In that planner, in the student plan book, there is everything you need to know about attendance and everything you need to know about our discipline policy. The two numbers that I'm going to point out to you are 11 unexcused absences. That's when Saturday schools start. You get 10, but as soon as you get to number 11, now you're talking Saturday schools. And then if you get to 35 total absences, that's with notes, without notes, excused, unexcused, you could be looking at no credit for the year. That pretty much means that you did this year, maybe you passed all of your classes, but it does not going to count for anything. You're going to have to repeat the school year. So be very, very mindful of your attendance. And one more thing, student athletes, any of you who are athletes in school, in high school, and you want to continue to be an athlete, we do look at your grades. You do have to be passing at least 30 credits worth of classes. So you got to make sure that if you want to participate in any of our sports teams, you do have to make sure that you're you know, passing your classes, making good grades. And if you want to go on to college, play sports in college, there are rules and regulations for that as well. And that's based on what you did in high school. Um, if you're interested in playing sports in college, I would recommend that you go to this website, ncaa.org. And that will tell you all about the requirements for playing sports for Division I and Division II. Thank you all. Have a great year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Veneer. I'm one of the counselors here at the high school, and I'm here to give you some tips in regards to scheduling. One of the first things you may want to do is speak to your teachers and parents about the classes that they may recommend for you. Another idea is chat with your friends and siblings about their experiences with some of the classes that they've taken here at the high school. Another thing you may want to do is review the program of studies and you can locate that on our website and then you're able to click on scheduling advisement and then you'll be able to see the program of studies. Another thing you want to do is consider moving up in a course, specifically if you meet that prereq. I think it's a great idea to challenge yourself. Um, another thing to be familiar with is knowing the weighted procedures as far as AP level versus honors. For an honors course, you're going to get an additional six points. For AP, you're going to get an additional 10 points. We also offer dual credit courses here, and we do have that noted in our program of study, so be familiar with that. It's a great advantage to take courses here at the high school, but then also get college credit. Another thing that is a helpful tip is to utilize Naviance to start looking up careers so that you can kind of get an idea of some electives that you may want to take here at the high school, just so you can experience that class and see if that's a career that you may want to go into. Um, and lastly, make sure you come to your appointment for your counselor with questions to ask so you guys can have some dialogue on your plans after you graduate high school and, um, you know, happy planning.
Washington Township High School Career Academies are set up as a four-year continuum of targeted career and technical education courses. And students are introduced to the scope, rigor, and disciplines to better prepare for a program of study at a two- or four-year college. The College and Career Targeted Academies allows students to make informed choices about opportunities in high-demand and high-skilled career pathways, which offer an advantage over other students who would be entering a related program of study at the post-secondary level. The experience that are provided for students focuses on solving real-world problems using a variety of skills, mindsets, materials, and tools. Yep, and the career academies within Washington Township High School create opportunities to identify and cultivate robust learning, connect with, with resources outside of its campus, and raise teaching and learning to more challenging levels. Washington Township High School Career Academies are designed to prepare students for specialized college and career programs by providing high quality career and technical education experiences in five specialized areas. Engineering, early childhood education, business administration and finance, marketing and marketing management, and television production and broadcast journalism. Starting off with the first one, the new Engineering Academy at WTHS is a four-year program dedicated to preparing students pursuing colleges and careers in engineering and related fields. The Academy puts you at the center of an active, collaborative, real-world experience for a unique competitive advantage in the engineering career cluster. It sounds like a great way to get a head start in the engineering field. Yeah, and it's a great way to have the skills that will allow you to make real change in the world. Engineering enables you to make the world a better place while being mentored by teachers and professional engineers. Another profession that impacts the lives of future generations is teaching. The students in early childhood education are preparing themselves to enter the field of education. The class is vibrant, authentic learning lab that focuses on teaching concepts and skills that have immediate applications. The completion of this four-year program will guide high school students toward a child development associate credential and the hours in the classroom setting may be also used toward a certified child care professional credential. It's great that they can earn so many things towards their career in this class, along with college credits towards an early childhood education degree. Those aspiring to become a teacher of early childhood education will have a unique opportunity to explore methods of teaching preschool age children in a real world environment. It's great that we have so many opportunities for students to expand their knowledge in a career they enjoy. Another great career choice for students at WTHS is in the business field. A high impact four-year education in a comprehensive field of business leadership in the world of accounting and finance. And the Business Administration and Finance Academy will arm you with real world hands-on projects, collaborative working and learning spaces, and rewarding internship experiences to advance you into the professional that you are becoming. Um, another business-like field that many people here at WTHS are interested in is marketing and marketing management. The students in the Sales Marketing and Marketing Management Academy at WTHS gain exceptional decision-making skills and are sought after by professionals in retail, sports and entertainment marketing through a four-year curriculum of learning. A lot of students here at WTHS take business classes, and if you're part of the Marketing and Marketing Management Academy, you'll have the opportunity to participate in DECA, the award-winning student organization at WTHS. Imagine the power of learning from faculty mentors and industry partners in the field you dream to be a part of. Another field that many students can dream to be a part of is the television production field. Here at WTHS, we offer a series of television production courses that help students learn all about TV and film. A four-year television production and broadcast journalism academy at WTHS will promote a community of students who will master the methods and techniques of creativity as they cultivate their passion for TV, video, and broadcast journalism. The dynamic facility is state-of-the-art, boasting two high-definition studios and control rooms and is designed to incorporate project-based learning platform with the cross-curricular instruction. Yep, and thanks to all that technology that they have to offer, the program covers a wide range of topics including appearing on air, becoming a producer, editing sound and video, executing camera work, studio lighting, and filmmaking. And both of us, as a part of Monthly Rewind, we can verify that the program really helps you introduce you into the field, much like all the career academies do here. The students in the career academies possess important characteristics of passion and discipline as they become a career academy student. 
implementing career pathways at Washington Township High School provides opportunities for students to engage in authentic and relevant learning that melds rigorous academic content with contextual learning. It includes developing high quality partnerships with state agencies, industry, and higher education to support these efforts. Be, Be a part, part of, of the Career, career Academies, Academies at Washington, Washington Township, Township High School. School. Hi, I'm Andrew Williams, school counselor. Are adults in your life starting to ask you what you want to be when you grow up? It's completely okay to have no idea. You're fortunate enough to attend a high school which offers many different electives that you can take to figure out what talents you have and what career you may want to pursue. Remember the saying, choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Your counselor and your teachers will help you find a career path that you are passionate about. During high school, try something new to you, like graphic design, intro to engineering, accounting, intro to business, computer science, dance, TV production, or journalism. After your four years here, you'll know what you like and you'll be able to plan for your future. Hi, I'm Mrs. Selkowski and I'll be speaking a little bit more about electives. So although we certainly want your elective to be a fun class that you enjoy, they're also actually part of your graduation requirement. By the time you're a senior, you need to have taken a class in the visual and performing art category and also one in the practical art category. A visual and performing art class would be a class in either art, music, or dance. A practical art elective would be a class in either business, technology, family and consumer science, or even ROTC. We also have electives that fall into the academic category. They're great for helping to prepare you for possible future careers. Some examples of those classes would be psychology, sociology, computer science, forensic science, and those are just to name a few. Because we have such a large selection of electives and classes, we really encourage you to visit our program of studies located on our counseling website. Here you'll find a description of every class we offer. It is our hope that by educating yourself, you will make the best decisions for yourself and for your future. Hi, I'm Mrs. Nelson, one of the counselors in the counseling office for the end of the alphabet. I'm gonna talk about your transcript. Your transcript is basically a piece of paper. I have a transcript in front of me of a senior, and a transcript lists all of the classes that any student takes, whether or not it's weighted or AP, their grade, and the number of credits that they receive. And it does this for every year that you're in high school. At the conclusion of the transcript will be your GPA, your grade point average, and your rank, the number that you are in the class. Although a transcript is a piece of paper, it tells a college admissions office a whole lot of stuff about you. Did you challenge yourself? Did you move up when you had an A in CP English? Did you move up to the honors English? Did you take a third year of a foreign language? If you said that you want to be an engineer, are you taking classes in the engineering field or in the business field or whatever? This really is a snapshot at the time, by the time you graduate of who you are as a person, what your goals are, and how focused and how hard you work to achieve them. So it's very important that when you schedule your classes, you select classes that you want to tell your story. When you leave Washington Township and you go on to wherever that may be, whether it's the military, trade school, college, that it tells the picture, the story that you want because this will be kept here for many, many years after you're gone. So good luck doing your schedule. Hi everyone, my name is Sandy Stockwell. I'm one of the high school counselors. And today I'm gonna to be going over scheduling timelines with you. First of all, February 5th, the Program of Studies and Curriculum Night will be offered to all township families at the high school at the IBPAC, 6.30. Again, all are welcome. Then, beginning February 21st to March 1st, we will be scheduling all middle school students. Also, February 6th to April 10th, we will also be scheduling high school students. Any students that miss appointments, we will be doing makeup appointments from April 11th to April 29th. 
Also, the same dates, April 11th to the 29th, you'll be able to view any courses that you've selected once you log on to PowerSchool. Beginning May 1st, that will be the last day to make any scheduling changes. After that, no scheduling changes will be made. Again, at the end of August, all families will be able to view their schedules and courses that were selected and by logging into PowerSchool. Thank you again and good luck with the scheduling process. We're here to help. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Palmer to share some ideas so that you can have a positive high school experience. Juniors, think about what classes you want to take during your senior year. Really focus on your plans after high school and prepare to take the SAT and ACT. In Naviance, continue to build your resume and to continue your college search. Maybe even visit a few colleges this semester. Sophomores, think about what courses you want to take next year to prepare you for your future. Prepare for the SAT by carefully reviewing your PSAT school report you received recently. Continue to get good grades. Freshmen, advocate for yourself by getting to know your counselor and asking lots of questions. Consider enrolling in one of our career program academies. Make new friends by getting involved in class activities, extracurriculars, sports, and community activities. By getting involved, you will enhance your college resume and more importantly, make great memories. I've heard many adults say that they regret not getting involved in high school. Don't have those same regrets, get involved. Throughout high school, you will use the online tool Naviance to learn more about yourself and to develop a plan for your future. You'll also see standardized tests such as the PSAT and the, and the NJSLA. You will need to pass the NJSLA in order to graduate high school. The best way to do well on these important tests is to challenge yourself to get good grades in high school. Remember, your high school counselor is here to help you have a positive high school experience.